Hey everyone! Welcome to another Let's Play Crying Sons! In the last episode, we were successful at our first sector over here in the Church of Singularity cluster. And we've been using the Chaos class battleship, the Scrapper's ship, and it's been fun! I'm a, I'm a Zerg player, I used to be ages ago when I used to play StarCraft, and it, for my Tyranids in uh, Warhammer 40k, back when I used to play that, back in 3rd edition, I love swarmy armies. I love, I'm a, I'm a rusher also, the Zerg rush. I love hitting the enemy as fast as possible, if, if I can. I know many people don't like that because they want to build up their, their fleet and what have you, but I love it. I love swarms and quick attacks. And so I really like this this Chaos Battleship. It's very interesting. And I like the idea of using our boomers to do most of our damage with their self-destruct capability. Very nice. In the case, we, we are leaving, we're entering this sector with quite a bit of scrap, but not a lot of neon. So we're going to want to purchase... Well, I'll do the purchasing off-screen again, but I'm, I'm suspecting we're going to grab a squadron dock to increase the amount of fleet of things we can deploy by one. And we're probably going to purchase all the Neon we can with whatever money we have left over. I might end up selling... Um, I might end up selling something here too. I'm not sure yet. We might sell that one frigate. I need to check and make sure it was something I actually want to, uh, to use. I'll watch the last battle and see if it did anything. So I, I saw that video recorded, obviously. So, Alright, so I'm babbling a whole lot. To start with, I apologize for that. Let me go and see what purchases we're going to get. And then I'll be back to make them. Okay, everyone, let's go ahead and make some purchases. So, I do want this additional squadron dock. I think this is probably one of the best upgrades a battleship can have, getting more and more ships out there, especially given that we don't have a weapon to actually damage enemy battleships, so I'm gonna need more and more squadrons anyway. So let's go ahead and purchase the additional squadron docks. We have 60 bucks left over. So with that 60 bucks, we're just going to visit the shop. And we're going to go ahead and purchase some Neon with that. We'll purchase five. Okay. Next on the upgraded list will be an additional hull structure. We only got... We got two. We could really use a third. And then we might grab a hardened hull up one rank. We'll see. I also probably want a heat capacitor, so this way we don't immediately overheat when we're struck by something. I totally didn't watch that video, and I should have. Cannot attack, instantly destroys any asteroid movement, so it does 80 damage to an enemy battleship without heat. That can't be prevented or absorbed and disappear. Not being just... All right, we'll, we'll go ahead and lo load it. We'll, we'll give it a try again. And we should probably use two MK1 boomers. All right, so I've already looked at the star map as well, so thankfully this shouldn't take too long for us. We have a quest, and I haven't completed a quest yet in this game, and I'd like to see what that entails. So this means we want to head here. The only way to get there is, in fact, to go to Vasoli first. So my plan would be to go to Vasoli, this system, this one, this one, that one, and then the boss. Let's go ahead and begin, shall we? Scrapper battleship, sir. Incoming transmission. Shiny sip you have. I think I'll scrap it when you're dead. Two squadrons on their side. Okay, so no matter what, we want this launched. We might as well, you know, actually let's put you here. And then we want our boomers, because we don't have anything else. We don't have any fighters. Who uses fighters? And let's... They have a weapon? And they have the weapon system. Okay, so this is just going to march right up towards them and try to destroy a section of their ship. Oh, and they only have one whole uh, block as well. So this, this can be over really quickly if I'm good at this. Wow, 
Wow, not bad. I will just get that fleet back up here again really quickly. You know what? We should move you. This way you don't both blow up and destroy each other. You want to launch more boomers. Wow, and it's over. Just like that. 83 scrap. Good job, Admiral. Here's a summary of the battle. Picked up plus one more neon, so we have six now instead of five. All right, well done. That was fun. I'm not even using this. This this frigate slowly is marching towards the enemy. This it strikes me that what this is is this is basically another weapon system. It's just you know it has to survive the enemy attacking it to get there. I think we'll probably sell it next time. All right, so we have a ground mission and an anomaly. We want to do both. We'll visit the shipyard after. The battleship wreckage, though. I'm picking up a distress signal from this beacon, sir. I thought the beacons were no longer connected to the fold net. They're not, sir, but this one seems to be transmitting a simple signal relayed from a, this planet. Also, see if you can make contact with the planet. Of course, sir. How can I help you? We're picking up a distress signal from your planet. Oh, that. That's not coming from our planet. That's coming from a nearby scrapper ship. They've been trying to bait ships for a while now. I'd push on if I were you. What do you want to do about the signal, Admiral? I wouldn't mind another fight. The last fight went, went really well. Let's investigate it. Let's investigate this signal. Someone might need our help. Going in, sir. There's a scrapper hiding near the beacon, sir. It was a trap. That's a nice juicy battleship you got there, Admiral. Kind of sophisticated for a scrapper. Am I impressed? Alright, so the enemy starts with their fleets already deployed, and we do not. And their guns are ready to fire, but they don't have any guns. I want all these spaced. Oh, what are these? Turrets. Okay, so we have to avoid the turrets. Not yet. Watch more boomers. We're gonna need if, if I get a chance to buy more squadrons, I, I need to do that. Wow, okay, I'm not doing much talking, I'm sorry everyone. I'm trying to concentrate. And it looks like we're, we're looks, looks like we won. Yep, 72 more scrap. Wonderful. That's a, that's exactly what I want to see. 160 scrap already. Hmm. I think we honestly should hold on to it. Oh, you could use another hull structure. Or more hit points. I think I think we will spend a hundred of it right now. Let's let's take an additional hull structure. Okay, and let's prepare for this mission. So, 
we will send Sahar Munir. There's a chance she'll be injured. However, she'll extract most of the resources and she might not lose too many Marines. If she takes three or more hits, we'll retreat if we get an opportunity to do so. Okay, so we landed easily enough. We had to fight some remnants of what was in this battleship. I suppose this is a church ship, so we're fighting some some of the faithful here. And we were able to, to defeat them, but we weren't able to get into the battleship. I guess we, we, can, we can say that the faithful actually detonated themselves to make sure that there was nothing salvageable for us. We haven't taken any hits yet. We could leave with 50% of the scrap. Let's take a peek. It'd be 34 scrap. Just about. Oh, there, oh, there it is. 38 scrap. Back all the intruder commandos and perceptions. All the loot. So we'll get 32 times 2? Yeah, okay. So let's uh, let's leave the injured commandos. In other words, we just withdraw. No, no, one's, no one's injured. So we leave with all our commandos and we gain 38 times 2 scrap. Nice! Yeah! I like this. I like this. I was wondering why I would ever want to upgrade my retreat options, and now I know why I would want to do that. We're going to hold on to this scrap, though. I'm not going to spend any more of it. We're going to probably want more neon. L Lieutenant Bigelow, sir. Looks like we picked up a Kosh virus on the jump, sir. They probably have hot zones all around here. It's our broadcast signal that's been targeted. The virus magnifies it. Two options. We decrease the signal using scrap to create a physical bypass. Or we let the virus run its course and increase the security alert in this sector. Your call as always. We can't risk elevating the security alert. Things are tense as they are. Let's fix it and move on. You got it, sir. It's fixed, sir, but as I said, it took us some scrap. You can't make a Xeno omelette without breaking some Xeno eggs. I really did not want the alert to increase. Because doing so means I'm forced to go here, 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 and then end. I want to have a chance to see what this ground signal is first. Alright, so we're at the shipyard. Let's visit it. Can be the tactical launcher can be sold for 80 scrap per total victory achieved while equipped. A total victory is earned when a battle is won with zero squadrons wrecked. I think that counts for our patched vessels. Fighter MK3 wraiths. And they become invisible to enemies while active. First attack in stealth mode. It's tempting to buy this. We have the money. We could use them with another squadron. But then I don't have enough for any neon. And I have nothing I want to sell. The cruiser seems like it's garbage for, for me. My units are going to die so fast anyway, I don't really care about the shielding. You know, I think what we'll do is we will take an upgrade and we'll increase our navigation scanner one rank. And the rest of this money will be spent on Neon. Because if I can get to an Omni Forge, I would like to do that.
Okay, uh, we're done in this sector. Let's go ahead and move on to Beta Hadalashai. Sir, I'm picking up a transmission from this ship. I think it's some kind of sermon from nearby planets and stations. Let's hear it, Lieutenant. Right away, sir. Listen, believers, for his eminence has communed once more with our metal gods. They showed him the garden of light and metal. Though it was only a glimpse, its beauty made him weep copious tears. His eminence encourages you to stick to the path and give him your scrap and neon so that he can absolve you of your sins. It's really that easy. Today, I want to speak to you of yet another way you can enter the Guardian. There is a wicked Imperial battleship among our sectors, and it's been attacking our holy peaceful colonies. This ship calls itself the NS Odysseus and is commanded by an evil man named Admiral Ellis Idaho. Believers, if you see the NS Odysseus, attack! Attack with all you have. Make the NS Odysseus burn. <clears throat> Xenon seems to really have it out for us. Remind me what we ever did to him? We are in his sectors. That might be enough. What do you want to do now, sir? Let's continue on. We have work to do. It's you! The Great Sinning Ship! Our Holy Destroyers are looking for you! You can run, but they'll find you, heathen. Our priests bless their ships so their radars detect sin. And yours illuminate the darkest darkness of space. Are we going to get a, a sector upgrade? Anyway? Okay, thank God. I was gonna be really upset if, despite everything I did in the last encounter, it still gave me another uh, security upgrade. Oh, just one neon. Just one neon. All right, we are here for the outpost. There were two Kosh battleships, if I recall correctly, assaulting it. So let's see if we can save it. Remember that Imperial Captain we bumped into in the last sector, sir? The one who told us about the outpost under siege? Well, these are the coordinates she gave us, and that, well... That must be one of the cost battleships she was talking about, too, sir. Incoming cost transmission! Let me guess. They sent you to protect their little outpost. You're going down. Did no one tell you Kosh Tech was the best? I guess the last Kosh battleship we destroyed failed to mention that. Crew, prepare your weapons. Oh my god. <laughs> well, there's only one way for them to go. We could use our frigate to make a path for us. So I think we will do that, but not right away. They have an X. Oh, does deals damage in a big X. 25 da 20 damage, no effect on the enemy's hull. Both of these will have to destroy that one singular ship. Okay, 
Okay, we're losing squadrons. Ooh, big damage, but still we're okay. Keep charging. Well, we get more boomers here. Your opponent wants to negotiate truths and is offering this exchange. I'm tempted to take that. But I don't know if that if we fail the quest, so we'll keep fighting. Oh, they have the DPS uh, counter. Let's move over there. Sorry, I want to watch it do its work. Nice, nice. We get another weapon. Good job, Admiral. Here's a summary of the battle. An engine disruptor MK1. And there's a second Kosh battleship right on cue. Let's hope we have enough in the tank to take it out, sir. I don't know how you won. Must be luck. No way you can be that lucky twice. Turrets. This time I don't think we'll deploy this. So the good news about the turrets is they'll hit the enemies as well. So I don't mind that so much. It also means that they're, we're all gonna kind of be filtered together. What's the range on you? So I have to stick into the middle road. What weapon do you have? Another X-Beam. Oh, this is a bit awkward. You know what? We're gonna rush one of the turrets and try to kill it. Their range is two, their range is two. Yeah, we need more squadrons. When we get a chance, we absolutely must have more. Oh, good X-Beam. I, I, I hit it directly. Oh, but we still, we still survived somewhat. It looks like they didn't put enough points into their recovery. And I think we'll probably win this without too much trouble. Oh, their X-Beam took out the far-distanced turrets. And actually, there's no reason why I can't deploy another one. Seventy nine scrap. Very nice. Good job, Admiral. Get a summary of the battle. Incoming transmission from the Imperial Outpost. We can't thank you enough, Admiral. Those cautions have been harassing us for weeks. 
we've put together a gift for you and your men and women. Should make all this darkness a little less frightening. Good luck on your journey. We gain a cannon MK2, a frigate MK2, another one, and it's and we gain 27 scrap from that frigate. Well, I guess the MK2 is better than the MK1. Is it faster? I cannot tell. Okay, we have a cannon. What does that do? Does damage like a shotgun area in a shotgun area. Decent damage too. 35. We have nothing that can actually affect a battleship. How about that? Okay, I'm gonna hold on to our scrap, I think. It is tempting to grab another weapon dock. Or maybe more hit points, but no, we're gonna hold on to that scrap at the moment. And I don't was there anything else in this system? I don't think there was. There was not. Alright, so let's move on to Gamma Shengjiang. Pirates. Pirate battleship readying for fire. It's a trap. Drones? Oh, those are going to be scrapper drones. And a single frigate. Let's try a different weapon this time. We'll try our cannon out for a little bit. Oh, my back. Alright, so let's go ahead and boomer MK1, MK1. What is this? What is this? This must be a massive electro oh, electromagnetic storm happening directly where our fleet would normally be. You know, I'm going to deploy an MK2 drone here, but not move it at all. That's the only thing I think I'm... Oh, uh, no, we should... We should move out, because I want to capture that. I don't think I really wanted you there, though. Keep attacking. We have re part reinforcements on the way. This is not looking good for us at the moment. They have a DPS guy guarding their hole. That's that stinks for me. Actually, your boomer MK2s will keep you around to deal with this when it spawns. Actually, how far? 21 seconds? Okay, we'll wait the 21 seconds. You should actually capture this, Tim. We'll have it captured just in time as well. them here. I 
then we're gonna lose that that ship. Yep. Oh, nice. But it matches. Oh, damage the fighters just in time. That's super bad. Uh, you know what? I don't care. We'll just move you up. If you get destroyed, we'll just we we, we deploy you. Oh, wow. That was a fantastic X attack on their part. I forgot they even had that. And I wanted to capture this. Instead, it got detonated. Okay, we're 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 doing it slowly, very slowly. Thanks for the the MPs buying us a little bit of time, and they have more reinforcements on the way. Another EMP blast going off right near our vessel, which is very nice. We lost 9 scrap, but we picked up 70 scrap, so it, it we gained 61. And we didn't lose a whole, uh, a whole bar, thankfully. That extra, that extra, we're not getting any of it this time around. I'm noticing that. It's not, it's not pulling its weight. But three neon just by getting flat lucky with the normal attempt to gather some is very nice. All right, so. 185 scrap. What's in this system? An away mission. It's going to be a weapon. Another weapon. You know, if, if, since we have another weapon, let's, let's take another weapon, Doc. And we'll take the engine disruptor, I think. Now we'll take the core blaster. And there's an Omni Forge. There's an Omni Forge up ahead. I want that. Do I want to try for the planetary wreckage? That's going to be a neon, Tim. There's no more neon and no more shops if you want this. And you, you kind of want that Omni Forge. We just gained... It's one, two, three. It gives me five extra. I th How many MK1 boomers do we have? Five. So I would want to upgrade all five. <laughs> okay. Let's go for one planetary... Uh, you know, I don't want that one. Because I don't really want another weapon. I'd rather have the scrap from the battleship. So let's move, let's move on. To Alphanar. And a key battleship, sir. Well, it was. I don't know what you call it now. I'm picking up high solar particle levels. A flare from that sun must have hit it. We step on that ship or try to scrap it, and we'll become heavily charged too. Then we push on. Let some brain dead scrapper get zapped instead. Let's 
since we picked up an extra neon, let's visit the battleship wreckage. I'll be honest with you, Admiral. I'm gonna need a good reason not to end you. Surrender, pilot. There's no way you can win this. Uh, fine. I surrender this time. But you better pray you don't run into me again. I'll bounce back from this. Big talk for a guy who just handed us all his scrap. 64 more scrap! There's no shop on the way, is there, if I want that Omni Forge. And I want that Omni Forge. I really do. I really do. So since there's no since there's no other shop on the way, we might as well spend a little bit more of this scrap on upgrades. Let's take a let's I'm tempted to buy both of these. Let's take a single heat capacitor for 10 more heat per room. Or do you want more hit points? Let's say like, let's like heat capacitor. This way I don't have to worry about my squadrons getting locked as often. That's one of those is only 30. Interesting. All right, so we also... Oh, I'm in front of the planet I want to, I want to prepare the mission for. Ambushed. We have a chance to get all of the scrap and resources, but we lose the officer. So a chance to be chance to be injured. And there's a secret military base here. There's two things. I think we'll we'll go down and we'll see how bad it gets, how quickly. Because we might lose all the commandos and the officer. If things are going really poorly for us at the very beginning, we'll just pull out. Um, we'll retreat. Forget it. Didn't pick up anything, didn't, but didn't lose our didn't lose our team. If I had gotten some, well, if we hadn't taken so many hits right away, I would have gone on. But our officer reduced to half their half their hit points immediately. No, we'll we'll simply leave it. All right, let's go. Let's get over here. Falk Australius. Church Beacon, sir. I'm picking up a pre-shutdown message on repeat, sir. Do you feel a lack of spirituality in your life? A lack of purpose? Located in Sector 3 of the Omnia Cluster, the Omni Mega Church is the answer you've been looking for. Welcome the machines into your heart, and we promise your life will be a fulfilling one. Neon. Very nice. Let's immediately go to the Omni Forge. Picking up a pre shutdown message from this beacon, sir. Seems to be playing on repeat. Looking to finance your next Omni purchase? Visit Imperial United. We offer competitive Omni loans and interest rates. Have a great day. Have an Imperial United day. Okay, I think we want to upgrade all of our boomers that are MK1s. So they'll pick up two hit points, one more DPS, and deal four more damage to all adjacent units.
Okay, we have enough. We could upgrade a boomer to MK3, but I'm not going to. We'll have three fuel when we jump into the boss battle. That will give me some amount of it that I don't have to worry in the next sector, assuming I'm able to win. I do like the look of all these MK2 boomers now. We'll do a little more damage in the AoE, which is very nice. A little more DPS as well. My plan would be to sell the frigate MK1. Maybe, I guess we could upgrade it. For one neon? No, I'm, I'm just gonna... Well... Yeah, we're just, we're just gonna vendor the MK1. When we get a chance for some scrap. Alright, we're done. Let's go ahead and jump to the boss. I mean, we have another planet here, but... I don't see any reason to go to it. So we're going to ignore. Let's just head to the, head to the next church ship. A cardinal, sir. My holy destroyer's been blessed by the high priests and is ready for carnage. These are your last rites. Admiral, now might be a good time for me to make an appearance before this cardinal attacks us. Go ahead, machine. Maybe we can avoid this battle yet. Hello, cardinal. What are you? I... I am an Omni. At 187, I am old enough to have seen the Omnis. You do not resemble them in the slightest. I am unique, it is true. But I assure you that I too am an Oberon machine. No! This is a trick! You have crew members inside that metal, pulling levers and pushing buttons. I've seen vulgar shows before, I confess. Now, Admiral, the time has come to atone for your sins. You may start by dying in an enormous ball of flame. Sorry, Admiral, I tried. I guess some people wouldn't recognize a god even if they were in transmission with one. Four weapon systems. Slows down all movement. Deals a good amount of damage to a single target. They have a whole breaker laser MK3. Jesus. So we, ha we have to attack them quickly. And looks like... This does is a dot effect. Sure, we'll take the core blaster and, and, and cannon. All right, so our catapult's gonna, it's gonna run them down if it can while our drones run around. Is that a cruiser? What is this? It is a cruiser. Once this is ready, perfect. Let's deploy the boomers here. Let's also fire our core blaster to blow up our own boomers. Actually, uh, they'll be able to destroy this without without need, needing to destroy them. Perfect. Now you keep going back against. Uh, oh my god! Sorry, I'm pausing the game a whole lot. My weapon systems are both ready. I'd like to wait until his other squadron is out. 
Oh! Oh! He deployed some of his own drones right next to us. 20 hit points on those. But they're inside a, an asteroid field. Oh, that hurt. Oh, wait, no, these are our drones. Hopefully that will destroy my own drone and their frigates. Well, those are fast, guys. Nice, good work. Good work, guys, good work. They're blocking the way. I need you to not all be in the same exact hex, because I want to lose all of you. So far, so good. Let's drop some more drones off. Oh, we lost one of our whole, um, one of our whole things. One of our, one of our whole bars. I kind of expected it, given the weapon systems they have. I don't know what they're what they're firing that weapon of theirs on. Oh, I think they're trying to. Maybe does one weapon like target an asteroid field and spawn something? I'm not sure. This is our captain summoning something. That's what. Okay, so I didn't recognize that at first. Get him! Frigate, get him! Woo! Lost one of our plating. 536 scrap as a reward.